All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Keeper 2. Today we're going to be continuing our campaign to this place. Sing song. A joyous land filled with light and music. Let us silence their wailing voices once and for all. This land is defended by Lord Darius, a far tougher opponent than Lord Antonius. Only by harnessing the forces of dark magic will you defeat him. Build a library to attract warlocks to your cause. They will reveal to you the secrets of the arcane. When we heard this guy, we gotta find Lord Darius to keep kill him, get a library, and we can learn new spells and get a training room to increase level to increase our levels. The good Lord Darius presents himself against you now. He's more worthy than a foe. But use the runes you won from Smilesmo as a good employ, and you'll slay him dead just like I told you. Okay. Library. Gonna hit M twice. Oh no, oh no, oh no. My microphone fell down. Then flame the portal near your dungeon heart. Yep. Oh, there's my portal right there. I'm gonna go ahead and dig here. Let's make a no. That's not good enough. Make it just a good old five by five. Oh dang it. I hate these really, really early missions because there's no big rooms that you can make. Like, a lot of missions will make you... they'll require you to uh, be smart with how you build your rooms, but they won't just have super con condensed spaces like this. I don't like the really condensed rooms. I like having more space to work in. I don't know, it would probably be better if I didn't leave this extra wall here. And so I won't. Get to work. Get to work. If you slap a minion, it does go faster. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in my last episode. I'm gonna have him get to work a bit quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. They're getting to work on that. May as well crack open a lair. May as well at least mark this as our hatchery. So anyway, I'm going to explain the library. In the library, as long as it's 3x3 three three for every bookshelf in the middle of the room, uh, it'll attract certain creatures that will research spells. Your spells are over here. You have two that you don't know what they are yet. They're not researched. Uh, they are the same in every, last play or in every playthrough. It's just that... They have the game hasn't revealed them yet. It's not like they're random. Yeah, but uh, the game wasn't super clear on that the first time I did that. So I did it. So I guess let's crack open this portal. Everybody get to work. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Shouldn't be too bad at all. Creatures will be drawn forth into your domain. Oh, it says I'm taking too long. How rude. You claim the portal. Alright. Now we're gonna claim some land up here. Um nah, I think this is gonna be our only the basics of your dungeon are that we want. But now expand it with a library. Design it square to maximize the space for scrolls. Then let your imps make stronger walls to hold more terror. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. It won't tell you about if it's a goblin or whatever. It'll just say a new species of creature has entered your dungeon uh, if a creature you've already encountered shows up. Yeah, we now have a goblin named Vlek. I like I like the names in this game. A lot of the names in this game I can appreciate. 
uh, I noticed how I picked up this imp and then dropped him like that. Uh, that makes him pick his jobs again. So since I dropped him over near uh, empty ground instead of near tagged rock, uh, he went to started claiming rather than anything like rather than anything else. All right. So, I think this is going to be our training room right here, and this is going to be our library. Maybe the other way around. Who knows? Anyway, as soon as I click on the, I may as well crack open the library. Oh, cool! It didn't actually give me a tutorial this time. I can appreciate that. Yeah, with the library, uh, creatures go in there. They research only certain creatures will research, and then you'll get spells from it that you can cast pretty much anywhere. Well, on your own territory. Uh, I should explain spells better. You can cast any spell on your own territory. I don't believe there are any spells that you can cast anywhere else. Uh, that's a lie. There is possession. Possession you can cast uh, only on your own creatures, but you can cast them anywhere. Cast anywhere. Anyway, we've got our library now. Training is a place where fighting creatures hone their skills. Warlock has arrived to study spells within your library. His research will serve your magic well. Restrict him not, though, to his books, for when in battle he may prove formidable with fireball. Yeah, so that's... It's out there, ready to be mined. Okay. A task well done. But training creatures will cost gold. Oh my gosh. He's still Every talking. Place in your library will attract another warlock to your realm. So, yeah. Uh, okay, are you done? Okay. So, as you can see, every time these guys hit... Uh, every time one of these... Er, all the time these guys are spending in this training room, it's costing me gold. Which is not good for me. But, uh, I'm not super worried. I'm going to be tunneling up anyway. Alright, so we got two warlocks. I'm going to right click so I can swap be look between them. Uh, he's going to research. He's going to research. And see, as soon as he gets started on research, I can look over here and this new spell is starting to get to work. That's good. In a little bit I'll have a new spell. Uh, these guys, this is basically just, uh, it's roughly the same rate at which they get it, they gain combat experience in the training room. Uh. Okay, so what he was saying there, uh, these guys in the training room, as long as you have the gold to support it, they will continue gaining levels as if they were in, uh, as if they were in combat. All right. They can't take damage like in in here. This is a completely safe zone. But, uh, they can only reach level four in here. Anything higher than level four, they have to go either to another much later, much more dangerous combat room that you unlock later. Uh, excuse me, later in the game. Or they have to go out and actually kill things. So let's start tunneling up. I'm not sure how fast I want to be tunneling up, honestly. Ooh. These righteous little pests may stray onto your land. And if they do, Alright, we got some dwarves showing up. We have some dying dwarves showing up. Look at us slaughter them. Good job. Look at this one, it's fleeing. Oh, you fool. He's down. 
Mana is the currency of magic, and it's this you spend each time you cast a spell. Your mana level is shown in green atop the screen. That's right here. And will gradually renew it as it's spent. The paltry dwarves can now destroy. Allow your creatures time to rest and eat. When ready, guide them north to find Lord Darien. Cast your new spell to create an imp. So open now the panel's spell and select the imp's head symbol. Oh my gosh. Stop. A left click on your creature picks it up. A right click on claimed land then lets it drop. Be wary though. Don't drop them too near enemies. For the dropping stuns these beasts. We, we talked about this. Okay. So anyway, this is our brand new spell. It's got a mana cost of 1500. However, it increases whenever you use it. Uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, uh, imps do require mana to live, but as they claim land, look at that green number in the bottom in the top there. Your mana in or er, your mana intake increases as you claim more land. There are also mana vaults which just produce a ton of mana. Yeah. You may wish to train your warlocks to improve their skills. To do this, drop a warlock in the training field. Imps are creatures uh, born of magic. Cost you cost mana to stay. Yeah. A new spell has, has been researched. researched. And now we get the lightning bolt spell. Now have studied further. Thunderbolt. Another spell spot, through which a thunderbolt is yours to hurl against such foolish enemies who dare invade your turn. Okay, so uh, you see how there's the yellow, out the gold outline going around your spells here. The time has come for you to face Lord Darius. Chill. Tag the flashing tiles. Your imps will tunnel to his keep. Anyway, uh, this creator. See how there's the gold bar going around the edge here? That shows that it had, or that uh, means when the gold bar's full, it'll upgrade your spell permanently, or at least until the end of the level, uh, and the spell will gain an added effect, or will get, get a lot stronger. Create Imp will create an Imp at level 4, and Thunderbolt will deal a bit more damage. Like, a good bit more damage. Sadly, there aren't any spells that decrease their mana costs when you, er, when you uh, upgrade them, and that's kind of disappointing. But we have ten guys. We don't need upgraded spells. We get to work. Let's train them a little bit, and then we can get to work. Uh, Your need a larger training room. Notice these floating books. These are. When you start a level with anything, you won't need the... It, when you start a level with all known spells, you're not going to need to research these again. These will stick with you for the rest of the levels. But, uh, unless you have space in your library when you first discover them, this one's Create Imp up here and this one's a Thunderbolt down here. If you don't have space, you'll lose access to them again. If you don't have the storage. For example, your library is too small like this, to your all your stuff Size disappears four again. By four is what's yeah, and now and now they're back, just like that. In either case, uh, my thoughts on the warlock. They're a required researcher, but they're also total cowards. I find them running away from fights a lot of the time, and they're also quite, uh, they're also occasionally very detrimental to your team at extremely high levels, because they get a wind spell which can blow a lot of your creatures out of position, which is not okay, but I believe, I think it's level 4, they get a heal spell which they'll just randomly cast on your critters, which is very appreciated. Anyway, I want to get this level over with. Oh, it's payday. So, 
I don't think we saw this before. Anyway, all your creatures have wages. This thing up in the corner, that, or if you hover over it, it tells you up on the top uh, how much your next payday is going to cost, and this, and this uh, clock goes down as it gets closer to payday. As it gets really close, it'll start flashing in either blue if you can pay for the if you can pay for the next payday, or red if you can't. Anyway, all your creatures are running on wages, and if you can't pay them, they will leave. So it's important to keep quite a bit of gold on hand. There is no such thing as too much gold. Which I don't, I don't actually think there is any weakness to too much gold. Anyway, let's sick him on this guy. I'm gonna equip my Thunderbolt spell, be ready for action, and let's cast it on something. Here's Darius. Let's electrocute him, knock him down. Excuse me. We're gonna... As soon as he steps onto our territory, I'm gonna Thunderbolt him, because that can knock him down. If I remember correctly, uh, Thunderbolt does actually deal more damage to armored foes. Oh, he's dead. Anyway, I believe that was played fairly excellently. Uh, I'll leave Horny walking up and taking the gem in this one. I'll probably cut it out of the next few. Uh, sometimes he'll spawn in a weird spot, and the cutscene will take like a couple of minutes, which I don't want to deal with. Anyway, let's pick up the portal gem and get out of here. Yeah. Uh, the treasury lets you hold more gold. Make traps and doors in the workshop. The sentry trap targets intruders with a powerful cannon. Use wooden doors to seal off rooms and corridors. All right, as you heard there, we have a couple of new weapons at our disposal. We have traps, uh, which we can build with the workshop, uh, and we have treasure a treasury, which will let us hold more gold than the normal sixteen thousand. I see you blasted Lord Darius off the face of the realm. A most entertaining way to claim a portal gem. To hear their singing turn to screaming has been a tremendous joy to my ears. Alright, I did not find the special in that level. I think I'm just going to go through at a later time and find that. I'll point it out in the level if I ended up dripping over it. I'll show you what it is, what it does, whatever. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's exit out to our map. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day, ladies and gents. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do. Anyway, we're done. Bye.